This is a video about uh, fixing leaky um, steam wand on a Starbucks barista. This seems to happen to me about every two or three years. It just kind of gets worse and worse, but it's, it's really easy to fix if this is the problem. And it has been for me. I've had this machine for 12 or 15 years, and this is probably the half a dozen times I've fixed it. Now, the uh, Starbucks barista is just really a rebranded Seiko uh, espresso machine. Uh, it's probably one of the most common ones in the world. So anyway, for domestic use. Anyway. You can see though that this thing drips here and just kind of gets worse and worse and it's irritating for a little while and finally you just got to fix it. And then it's a really quick fix, but I can never remember what to do it. That's why I'm making this so I'll, I'll see what I'm doing here. Because I only fix it, you know, like I say, every two or three years. So it's always, you know, what, what did I do the last time? You'll need a uh, Phillips screwdriver and um, a Allen key. Uh, I think it's five sixty fourths screwdriver to remove the screws on the outside uh, panel of the espresso machine. I think there's six screws in total. And when you get in there, um, this is the part here that. Uh, is the problem. This uh, the little knob that you control the um, wand with uh, attaches to this plastic thing here and, and this uh, piece here pushes against this little metal uh, tab here I guess and then that's the controller so so um, you'll see that this is a little bit fatter in this end so when it tw turns uh, it pushes against here and then the, the water or the steam gets faster and faster. And there it is, a different view. So there's uh, the Allen key is going to go into this little nut here. You can see the control knob here. And then we're going to loosen this and then we're going to uh, adjust it on the thing and then tighten it up again. Simple as that. So it takes like, I don't know, 10 seconds. And you can see that's that little tab that it's going to push again. There's a better look at it there, I guess. There's a tab. There's the Allen key thing. And just adjusting it here, and you can see again, there's the little tab there again, a little better view, I guess. Now the trick is you 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 um, close off the, the put it on a closed uh, the, the little knob, adjust this thing, and then tighten it so that there's a little space, like in between, right there should be a little space right in here. This thing shouldn't touch this tab in the least when um, it is closed. And what happens is uh, over time, as you're you know, turning it off, turning it off, this thing slips a little bit, this nut slips on the shaft. And then this thing, you can see it kind of gets fatter and fatter, then pretty soon it's just touching that thing and that's when it starts to drip. It doesn't, hardly has to touch it at all for it to start, start dripping. And there's another view here. So basically, again, that space has to, has to be a tiny, tiny space right in there. Now, another thing I thought of, um, which I haven't done, but I might next time I fix it, is this um, screw right here. It attaches this whole mechanism to this shaft here. You could loosen this screw and put a little tiny washer in here and move the whole thing back a bit. That would move this back a bit, and that might be a more permanent solution. might try that next time, but um, this, this works all the time. You can see that's a different view. There's that screw right here, so you can see what I'm talking about. You just loosen that screw and, and then uh, put a washer. So that's it. Just loosen this, adjust, and put everything back together, and away you go. Six screws on the outside, and Allen key here, and take you less than five, ten minutes. It's just testing it before you put the screws on. I've I've adjusted it a couple of times now where I've actually done it the wrong way, and I've put it all back together and tested it, and it's like, oh, it's not just leaking; it's pouring out now because <laughs> I did the did the wrong adjustment, turned the knob the wrong way. Anyway, that's it. Hope that helps.